we are at the happiest place on earth. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta get ready. Okay, a lot of the Christmas stuff is already sold out at Ikea, like the star lights that we were hoping to put in the windows, but we're gonna check some other places and see. They're kind of out of a lot of things, but maybe for the best. Man at work. Hello. I'm erasing the wall. <laughs> Cheers, wall. Okay, there's a little bit of chaos going on right now because Dennis is hanging the curtains while I'm making dinner. So you put all of these things in and it's really important to warm them up before you add them to the mashed potatoes. So it's cream cheese, sour cream, butter, heavy whipping cream. Then I'm gonna warm it in here. I'm probably gonna do a little bit more and then put it in the mashed potatoes. And the finished product. Okay, we have been hard at work after Ikea. We came home and Dennis has been working really hard to hang up the curtains. I was helping him until I made some dinner. So as you saw, it's mashed potatoes and gravy with some chicken that we marinated ahead of time. And what we marinated in, I'm looking at my recipe here, it's from my mom. Um, so we put in a tablespoon of mustard, a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of lemon, and then a fourth a cup of olive oil. And then we put even amounts of sage, parsley, and thyme in there. And then salt and pepper also and we mixed together and marinated overnight and then poured it out before we put it in the oven and baked it for like 25 minutes at 350 Fahrenheit, 160 centigrade. And it turned out really well. And then the mashed potatoes and gravy were really good as well. The mashed potatoes are really creamy because of all the cream, cream cheese, and everything in there, the butter. <laughs> so it was really, really tasty. And I have like a mountain of mashed potatoes now, which is really good. Oh, we love the leftovers. Oh yeah, Houston is not here right now for the first time since we got him. He actually is visiting Emma now and staying with them. So the whole purpose of them as puppies going to stay somewhere else is to get them used to a different environment. And obviously he knows Emma and their house and everything, which is great. It makes me feel a lot more comfortable and um, it's just good for them to, you know, practice being away. He's with me like all the time, all day, every day. So it's really good for him and me, even though I was sad to see him go. He was so excited, so excited to see Emma and he loves Emma's owner and everything. So that's really great. And just have to remind myself that it's really good for everybody to have him get exposure like that and to get some time away. And then he wasn't freaked out by the sound of like the drill and stuff of the curtains, you know. He's he's a brave little pup, but that sound is kind of intense for a little puppy's ears. Anything else? I like turtles. Again, really. It's like a dream. We are on our way to go pick up Mr. Huey Pants from Emma's house. I'm sure he had a wonderful time, but we're excited to see him. Poodle acquired. He had a great time. He got tuckered out. What do you think? He had a wonderful time. Now you're ready for a nap. Did you have a nap today? <laughs> I didn't. Oh, you need one. You back with Papa. Yeah, it's... <sighs> okay, fine. You really should be on a blanket on there, but you can stay. Is it closing his eyes immediately? You must be yeah. so tired. <laughs> Look at you! Wow, Houston. Good boy. Look how good you look. Do you want to go draußen? Want to go draußen? Warm. This one's pretty better than that first one. Fluffy from your bath. <laughs> Do 
don't take it off. I just put it on you. You felt cold. This is a little rug that we picked up at Ikea. Safe to say Houston likes it. He has his little mat here too, but it's a better view of the window. <laughs> Good boy. We also got this anti-slip piece under it. We also picked up this little rug at Ikea just for the side door. Especially in the summer when we're going out and in all the time, that'll be really nice. It does have a very subtle texture on it. We have the long awaited and long talked about curtains finally up and I couldn't be happier with them. I think they look so good and better than what I even imagined. So we have these windows that span all the way around here. I'm like going into this tree <laughs> to show you. So they start over here and then they wrap all the way around and end there. So then here with the windows, this gives more of an illusion that they're longer and more just like along the whole wall there and here. So I just think it grounds the space so much more and makes it feel so much more cozy. So now this room is complete. We have the rug, we have the curtains, and of course we have these gnomes. I lit some candles to make it feel more festive. So here's this wall. Hello. Why is your bed over there? That's what you're asking. <laughs> It's usually over there by the tree. What are you doing? What do you think, Houston? You like your sweater now? You're more used to it? He doesn't even pay attention to it now. But, as I was saying, so we have this here. <laughs> what do you think? You're a good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> Love you so much. You're a good boy. Yeah, sweetie pie. So, this here and then <laughs> what's in there is the toy hiding must be um and then in here i stuck this little thing from dennis's mom in the advent calendar it has these little reindeer and they have a little red nose if it'll focus red rudolph nose on it there you go <laughs> How cute. And I thought it brought some warmth in to here. And then also Houston can't get it that way. And then from here with the tree. 